Oh, hey, did you hear about this? This is so funny. This just uh, occurred to me. Those Sandy Hook victims. Now, this is where we're getting into really retarded uh, reasoning, retard reasoning, you know. Uh, so, a judge said that the victims of the Sandy Hook shooter could sue the manufacturers of the AR-15, which was used in the shooting. And meanwhile, the same judges said that the parents couldn't sue the police because, get this, it was, quote-unquote, not the police's responsibility to protect their kids, end quote. I don't know how that works. I mean, if you become a police officer and it's not your responsibility, what the fuck are you being a cop for? <laughs> what do you mean it's not your responsibility to protect and serve? I don't understand this. So let me get this straight. There's some whack job running around shooting people. But I don't necessarily have to expect you to do your job. It's actually, I, I, actually, there is nothing that legally says you have to help me. Why are you a cop? Well, what, I don't understand this. If it's voluntary, why are you getting a salary? I don't understand. <laughs> if you're not in some way legally obligated to help me by being a police officer, why are you getting a paycheck? What are you getting paid for? To eat donuts? Well, maybe. <coughs> it's crazy. But they can sue the gun manufacturers. This is the stupidest thing I ever heard. It's probably coming out of that fucking Ninth District Court in California or something. It's loaded up with a bunch of activist fucking judges. Can you, I, I don't get this. So let me get this straight. If some lunatic buys a Cadillac, do they make Cadillacs anymore? I don't know. Buys whatever car. He buys a fucking uh, uh, Buick. Does, there, does Buick still exist? I, I don't know. But he buys a car. And he goes and runs down my fucking kids. I don't have kids, but uh, this is just hypothetical. He goes, buys a car, runs down my fucking kids. Can I then sue the car manufacturer? What, what, what nonsense is this? It doesn't make any sense. How the hell is the, the gun manufacturer to blame for some nut job using their product to kill your, ki uh, uh, your kids? It doesn't make any sense. You're essentially blaming the tool and not the people that use the tools. I don't understand this. That's just like what they're trying to do in uh, fucking Britain. You got that stupid, uh, I forget his name, the fucking mayor of uh, London, Sadiq Khan. Oh, man. This is what's going to happen to you people in America. It's already happening in London. It's already happening in Britain because they got a much smaller population, so it was much easier for them to get enough Muslims into London and enough progressive morons like some of you out there to elect a Muslim to be mayor of London. This fucking guy is banning knives. How do you ban a knife? Can't you just sharpen a stick? I, I don't understand this. <laughs> I can understand thinking you can ban guns. You really can't, right? They're, they're easy enough to make with modern-day machining tools. Uh, you know, black market. You, know, you can get them easily enough. But uh, a knife? You can make your own knife. There's no moving parts. There's no engineering involved. Not really. You just get a rough rock. You get a piece of metal. You, 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 or you get a file. You can get files. You can buy files anywhere. Is he going to ban fucking files next? <laughs> yeah. I, you have metal files that can file metal, right? All I got to do is get a piece of metal, a file, and then file a point on the piece of metal. I have a knife. Well, what is this nonsense thinking you can ban a knife? What, are you going to ban fists next? Nobody is allowed to have a closed fist in London. How are you going to enforce that? We will have fist police. <laughs> what? Fisting police? Fist police. Fisting police? What, what, what is their job? <laughs> They're going to fist me in the ass? Is that what they do? Instead of using their fucking nightstick, they, they, they do fisting? What are you talking about, fist police? They will monitor citizens to make sure they don't close their hands into a fist. If they do, they will get a fine. <laughs> this is where we're going, people. <laughs> this guy don't Orwellian control of everything you say and do. No more fists. What, what, what are they going to do next? Uh, 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 no more uh, kicking? Kicking's illegal. Feet are illegal. How, how do you stop people from kicking each other? <laughs> we will make suction cup shoes. 
You can't lift your foot off the ground, so you can't kick someone. Well, how would I walk? Uh, we haven't worked out all the bugs yet, but we're working on it. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Bare knives. Jesus Christ, it's so stupid. Oh, my God. Headbutting. Well, you can't headbutt, right? Of course. What are you going to do, ban heads? <laughs> we need to ban heads. So if anybody headbutts, we will enact Sharia law and decapitate them. Isn't that a little harsh? I don't think so. We need to take over your country, you know. We need to find some way, some vehicle, to get Sharia law up and running. So this is a good way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eh, of course, banning knives doesn't really work because the only people that are going to not have knives are the good guys. All the criminals running around still have knives, of course. They're banning cutlery. There's an age limitation. Get this. Get this. There's a fucking age limitation. So, uh, um, like, you can't go to a business and buy, like, uh, steak knives unless you're over a certain age. I think it's maybe 16. And then buying cutlery knives, you've got to be over 18. But, they, but now they're, they're doing something where you can't have tip knives. So even if you have a cutlery knife, they would, like, take the tip off. Well, wait a second. What if I'm a butcher? <laughs> how am I going to get the knife? The, the initial penetration, how, how am I going to do that? Oh, just, just be like the Chinese. They, they use one tool, a hatchet. Wait a second. You know how you see the Chinese restaurants? They just have this square hatchet thing, and they use that to cut everything. Wait a second, though. Isn't the hatchet dangerous? Couldn't you get chopped to death? Somebody whacks you in the neck with that. That's it. Okay, we will ban all hatchets. Yes, ban all hatchets. Anything with an edge. How the hell am I going to cook anything? <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> yeah, let's not deal with the problem which is all these low IQ morons with this culture, with this morality that doesn't fit with Western morality and culture. So you have these clashes, you have all this violence. Yeah, but let, let's not deal with this, 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 this Bronze Age fucking culture, this regressive culture. No, no, that's not the problem. Let's not deal with that. Let's not eject this pathogen that is causing all this disease, all these deaths, all this problem. No, no, let's ban knives. Right? Because, you know, treating the symptom of a problem always cures it, right? Sadiq Khan. You know he's low IQ, right? He probably got in office the same way that Ocasio-Cortez is. They probably had a fucking casting call. Eh! We need a Muslim mayor here! We need a Muslim mayor here to support. Gotta have charisma and be a good actor. I want to do the job. Little Napoleon-looking motherfucker, five, six, five feet six inches tall. Oh, boy, with a little man complex. I want to be it. Okay, you're it. <laughs> we'll push you for mayor. I mean, somebody's pulling this fucking guy's strings because, uh, yeah, he's too low IQ to have gotten into office himself. Come on. Come on. George Soros is behind that, I'm sure. Ban knives. Yeah, let's ban cars, too, you know, because cars kill more people than knives and guns can ban. No, can't do that. <laughs> Don't blame the car. It's the driver that's the problem. <laughs> Do you see the disconnect here? <laughs> yeah, the, the car is the, not the problem when, uh, you know, somebody runs somebody else down and kills somebody that way. But when it's a knife and a gun, it's the knife and the gun that's the problem, not, not the person using it or their ideology. Oh, no. Good Lord. Good friggin' Lord. Yeah, Ban knives. Yeah, suing, suing the gun manufacturers. I They're not going to win. They're not going to win. I mean, this activist judge is one thing. He let the case proceed, but no way. I don't see how. I don't see how. Of course, you know, I could be wrong. <laughs> we'll see. Uh...